Hi there, uh, thanks for joining us today. We're going to have a look at something that's become a little bit popular in the market and that's something called an MPS or a Net Promoter Score Survey. Now what's happened with me recently is I've been buying things online and all of a sudden I get an email from the organization that I've just purchased the goods from or the products from and they ask me things like how likely are you to recommend our product to a friend or a colleague? And these things are actually called Net Promoter Scores or MPSs, right? MPS. Now the background to these surveys are such that they try to work out how valuable their business and brands are in the market and how well they're actually doing. And they categorize the results into detractors, passives, and promoters. And we can see that how they categorize these are based on detractors basically are likely to churn and have no loyalty to your brand or your products. Passives likely to move to another category but a neutral. And then we have what we call high or uh, value creating customers, those that promote your goods and services to their colleagues, their friends, etc. So what we're trying to do is build a survey that can help us rate um, how we're doing based on MPS. Now what we've done within Zoho CRM is on an individual we've created a MPS score because we wish to um, send a survey to the person themselves that have purchased or interacted with us, purchased products from us, and we want them to um, <clears throat> give us a score on how well we've done. Now what I'm going to do is use uh, Zoho Survey to do this. And I've created a form already, and in here I've created a name, first name, last name, and also a score between 0 and 10 with the point about how likely are you to recommend our brown brand to your colleague or friends. And you can see here that Soho already have an MPS um, widget available that can be dragged and dropped and put onto your form. Now, of course, this can be triggered um, based on multiple events. It can be uh, when a product is or an opportunity is one that could be triggered to send this out. Uh, you could have it that it's integrated with uh, Zoho campaigns and you um, once a month you send these out to the customers that have been acquired that month or you could do it on an individual basis depending on how um, large an organization you're operating. So what I'm going to do is firstly create an email template. So within Zoho CRM, I've created this fictitious company. And what I'm going to do is create this template. And you can see I've created a link here to the actual survey form that we created. Now, uh, Zoho, once you integrate your forms, you've got the ability to link your forms here or your surveys. And you can connect those into any email uh, template that you choose. Now, what I'm now going to do is go across to uh, Johnny here, and I'm going to send Johnny because he's recently purchased some product from us. I'm going to choose the template, the MPS template, and send it to Johnny. Okay, now I'll wait for that to appear in my inbox and it's arrived. And now I've got the request or the email. And being Johnny now, I can click on the survey button. You'll see that it's pre-populated my name because, in fact, on the survey, I can show you briefly that when we did the integration to the CRM, I clicked on the button that says pre-populate survey information with the data from the CRM. So that's how it was able to do that automatically for me. 
Now all I have to do is rate the business and I think they're quite good so I'm going with an 8 and submit. So that's now done. So if I go back to the CRM here and we refresh the screen we should find that we now have an MPS score integrated and updated on our um, CRM contact record. We can obviously also see the surveys that we've sent out and the response that we've had from the candidate or the customer down here as well. So writing that score back to the CRM record would then give us the opportunity to uh, look at those customers that are very loyal and maybe have different marketing campaigns to those. It may well be that those people that scored us a two or a three, we follow up with those and uh, the help desk has raised an issue or the support desk and they call the customer to see what difficulties they had uh, dealing with us. So that gives you some idea the basics and the let's call it the science behind the MPS survey and how Zoho can help you achieve um, good results with it. Thank you.